Well, good morning. We ran almost 700 foot of 14 gauge wire the other day, and it wasn't easy. We've got our space marked off over there with our cage. We happen to have our feed bucket temporarily. And we have uh, some new residents. We got some Americanas chickens. They'll be uh, laying for us in about, oh, probably two months. They're a little shy. They're in there, though. But maybe you can see one. Well, maybe not. So temporarily, we got our water over there. We're going to uh, tie in the main water line. But right now, we wanted to uh, have some sacrificial chickens and entice our friend over for dinner. So here we have our gate, one of them. And then we're going to come on down. We have plenty of room to do work on the inside while the fence is energized. Right now, it's hot. And if you put the tester on it, it doesn't even need to be in the ground. And it, bro it glows bright, bright red. So we're, we're looking forward to inviting him over for dinner. He seemed to be an uninvited guest before, but now he's a most invited and honored guest. So we got the back here, and we got our bucket where we'll put some uh, different things, extra feeders and stuff. But this is the most interesting contraption that we've uh, designed and built. Wires come out of the uh, chicken coop, the uh, bowl zappers in there. Our first wire is hot, our second wire is uh, grounded, third is hot, ground, and our bottom one, six inches, is hot. We have two direct hot lines feeding the others. And then over here we have insulated as a backup to uh, connect everything. We've also ran a secondary ground wire over to our grounding rod. So we have it uh, double grounded because the ground is half of your fence in an electric fence. So we go six inches from the bottom to stop any critters. And then I believe we go up every eight inches. We have some fine tuning to do, make things look a little more prettier, maybe straighten out some of the little bends in the wire, and then run some, uh, some of the water line, but we're up and running. And the meat chicken coop, or we're not just calling it the meat coop, because whoever goes in there, well, you know. We gotta fix up one corner, and uh, work on the irrigation, and then decide who our victims will be this year. I'm thinking the Lucky 13 Chicken Nugget Crowd, but we'll find out later. we got a month before we do that. So here we have our anti-bear fence. It did cost about $170. We did have some of the insulators and a few poles in the beginning, so that kind of helped on the cost. So we'll keep you updated, and uh, when we go and buy us a big family chicken box and, uh, uh, you know, bait the inner line, maybe we can have a all-black dark video at night of a... Uh, a bear getting zap sounds. I think that'd be quite nice. So we'll check in with you in a little bit.